Let's see if we can find a good one. I suggest one of the things that you might want to add in your job search is the Kaizen implementation rate. This company you're interviewing. You're interviewing them as well as them interviewing you for a job. It's got to be a good fit. Okay? And the reason I say this is Toyota has recorded over 700,000 Kaizen ideas and have implemented 99% of those. 99%. Now what I want you to stop and think about a little bit, what does it take to end up anywhere in the 90s on implementation rate? Remember, you go to your supervisor. Your supervisor is your coach. The supervisor helps you develop that idea, okay? You go to your fellow employees, and they help you. And that supervisor then has to be able to say, yes, that's a good idea. Can you imagine how much work has to go into it from the supervisor's standpoint to be able to say, yes, that's a good idea, coaching and everything else, and for your fellow employee, uh, fellow team members to end up with a 99% implementation rate? You better have one highly motivated, well-oiled machine to even come close to that, right? So if you go out and you interview a company and you ask them what's your content implementation rate, and they said, huh? Or they say, well, about 95%. But we're working on it. Two totally different perspectives, right? Place you might want to work. There are some local uh, organizations that are bumping up against 90%. Some of them are Bobase Valley Lean Network companies, too. Now, how's that stack up against anything you've ever worked for? Did you see it in the previous previous slide? <laughs> or, or this one? Oh, yes. Let's review. Now, we, I took you through in words and, and, and details a little bit on the quick and easy five-step process to do Kaizen, right? Let's review them. Find an opportunity to change something for the better. Discuss the opportunity and potential improvements with your fellow team members and supervisor. Implement the best improvement. Document a Kaizen report. I told you a little bit what it covered. And share it. Share your Kaizen report with others. But I got a better deal for you. Let's review it in pictures to see if you really truly get it. Okay? Alright, very first page says quick and easy Kaizen. The next page says, okay, Henry Ford says start small. There are no big problems, there are just a lot of little problems. And you want to do it to make your job easier, save a few seconds, improve patient care and service. Improve safety and reduce waiting. The next page says learning to see waste. Look at the path over there. You don't see it real highlighted here, man. <laughs> on, the, on the view graph, it's orange. All them little squiggly lines from procedure to exam to lab to whatever. The poor, the poor doctor runs his legs off in waste. You turn to the next page, it says discuss and implement. Discuss and implement. So, that's the second and third step. We start out with an idea card. Completed idea card. That's one is, many outpatients do not speak English and it's hard to get an interpreter. That's the problem. Idea, let's get us a serif phone for the area. Data originated by whom? Expected benefits, expect, able to communicate better patients, and input needed from various people listed there. On the other half of that card, it says implementation steps. Called IS to get phone, 4-3. Phone in front office, 4-3. Email to staff, 4-3. Phone in use, 4-4. Four, four. Results verified, yes. New method standardized, yes. Completed, 4-11. Here's the idea board progression. It starts over here with the idea. And then it moves over the to-do list column. And then it's listed as being done. And then it's being listed as completed. Over here in the left-hand side, it says management must ensure that ideas are followed up on and that new ideas are solicited over time. You've got to ask for them ideas. And we turn to the next page of the handout. And you're going to see the fourth and fifth step. Document and share. Of this quick and easy Kaizen. You turn to the next page and you'll see a completed Kaizen report. And right at the top it says Kaizen Wall of Fame. Area, STL, date, 
What is the problem? What was changed? Photo or diagram of the old container versus the new container? The benefits and who was involved? And on the right hand side of that said, what was the problem? What was changed, improved, and implemented? What were the benefits? And who was involved? That's a Kaizen report. Another one. This is rather innovative. Quick and easy Kaizen report. Bubbles for babies. The problem here was that when they tried to give the babies the uh, ultrasound, they didn't want to sit still. They wanted to squirm and wiggle and cry and everything else, and they couldn't hold them down. Parents were frustrated, and the nurse took a lot of extra time. So what they did was they went out and bought a little bottle of wedding bubbles and had the parent kind of blow it over the baby. And the, the baby just was totally distracted by the bubbles and just laid there, and everybody was a lot happier, including the baby. And then down at the bottom it said, the effect, happy babies make for happy parents, which makes for happy staff, resulting in joyful service and peace of mind. Okay, and they have the name of the person whose idea it was, the supervisor, the date, and for the estimated cost savings, which is optional, by the way, priceless. Another one. We turn the page. This one's entitled Creativity Before Capital. That falls right into the Japanese way of Kaizen. Turn on your brain before you grab your wallet. This one here had to do with when completing diagnostics, you had to wrap Velcro straps around the patient's waist to place appropriate shearing device on the patients, considerable amount of time, increased risk of spreading infections from patient to patient. And what did they come up with? This is, this is to take uh, x-rays of a patient. They went out, they found them a IV pole stand, which is uh, adjustable up and down. And they put uh, lead shield, uh, the shielding on there, on that IV pole. And depending upon your height and more they needed to protect, they could raise and lower that shield. In a matter of seconds, the, the effect, the device does not require contact with the patient to be effective is much faster than the traditional method. This type of device is available in a catalog, but the department was able to quickly build two of them by for a fraction of the cost. Again, name, department number, and supervisor. Healthcare Kaizen. And then you turn to the next page, wouldn't you like to see your idea on the Kaizen Wall of Fame at your place? Here is a picture of the Kaizen Wall of Fame I am pretty sure this one's from Franciscan Health St. Francis Hospital. And up here we had completed Kaizen's 207, 208, 209, and 210 across the top, and the ones that were current for 2011 in this picture. Does that help motivate you to come up with ideas and stuff? People appreciate your ideas. They even like to share, they even like to build on them. Hey, thanks, Joe. I can take your idea and I can or maybe, you know, and adapt it. What can we do as leaders? Ask for Kaizans. Help create time. Lead by example. Participate. Get involved. Coach. Mentor. Lead. Go to Gimba. Teach the root cause problem solving methods. Follow the plan, do, check, act process. Recognize and celebrate Kaizen. Did that help you understand the, the quick and easy process a little better? Seeing it in the pictures? First hearing about it in words, but now in pictures. Okay, so it is a piece of cake, yes? Kind of a piece of cake, yeah, huh? Something that uh, we could probably learn to do. What do you mean there's a problem? Well, gee, I don't know how or where to find the opportunity. And that's where this thing all starts, isn't it? Finding the opportunity for Kaizen. Well, if you don't know how to do that, and yes, that's the toughest step, the vendor journey is the first step, right? What direction do I want to go? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, any road will take you there, okay? Any road will take you there if you don't know where you want to go. Okay, so we need to know how to do the first step, or we can't complete our Kaizen journey. Well, gee, that's terrible. That's just plum terrible. But if you come back next session, we might be able to find something that uh, that helps you helps you think about it, help you help you find that that opportunity.
maybe even how to organize your, your situation so it makes it easy. Problems become easily visible to see that opportunity. So that's continuous improvement and 5S for next time. Now, anybody still interested in becoming a Kaiser? Yeah. Now that they know all this good stuff. Well, do I have a deal for you then? Okay. Your own little Kaiser badge. Look just like a mother. <laughs> and uh, plan on coming back to the next session because that's where we're going to try to help you find the opportunity. And also how to organize your situation so it becomes easier to find that opportunity.